Hey, what's up guys? My name is Faison and in this video, I'm going to give you three quick and easy tips that you can use to improve your gravity vehicle. Before we get into the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell to be updated every single time I upload a new video. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description below that will take you to one of the posts I made about this specific topic if you want to learn more about how you can improve your gravity vehicle. Also, follow me on social media at underscore unfazed for Instagram and Twitter at, and at unfazed for Facebook. All right, guys, so the first quick tip that you can use to improve your gravity vehicle is to push the center of gravity of your car further back. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, why should I even care about the center of gravity of my car? Well, the answer is pretty simple if you look at a diagram of how any car sits on a ramp. Now, for the purpose of explaining this, I will say that the center of gravity of this car is right here. Now, if you push the center of gravity of this car further and further up this ramp, the amount of gravitational potential energy that this car has to use to run down this ramp and down the track increases very slightly. So, essentially, the farther you go back here, the more potential energy you have to go down this ramp and the faster your car will go. Now, this is going to improve results in one of two ways. One is your car is going is not going fast enough and can't travel the distance you need it to to accomplish a specific task. Or two, you're just optimizing speed so you can improve those results by even a sliver of a slight margin. Now, you may be asking yourself, how do I make that adjustment to my car to improve the center of gravity? Well, if we look at the car I have here, I have a big chunk of mass. This is one kilogram, this is a one kilogram block right here, and that's right in front of the back axle of my car. Now, because of the length of my car, the center of gravity is going to be close to right here. And if I added more mass here, the center of gravity would shift from here to closer to here and closer to here, the more mass I add to this car. So if you wanna make this improvement to your car, simply add a huge chunk of mass right in front of the back axle, or you could even shorten the length of your car, and that will push your center of gravity further back. All right, guys, so the second tip that you can use to improve your gravity vehicle right now is to increase the thickness of the wheels you are using. Now, if you're a new beginner, you're probably just using CDs or something very similar that's very thin and very light to make the wheels of your gravity vehicle. However, you may be noticing that your car is veering off track and it's not going perfectly straight. But if you, if you invest in a little bit thicker wheels, then you're going to achieve those results you're looking for. And here's why. So when you have a thin wheel that is such as a CD and let's say it's 0.1 inches thick, and you compare that to thicker wheels like this one that are 0.8 inches thick, you can see that with a thinner wheel, you're going to get less contact with the ground than you will with a thicker wheel. And with more contact with the ground, you're going to be able to keep your car going straight and run down the track a little bit more smoothly. So if you want your car to go a little bit straighter than it already is and stay on track, then you're going to want to invest in thicker wheels compared to thinner wheels that you're currently using. All right, guys, so a third and final quick and easy tip that you can use to improve your gravity vehicle is to simply add a decelerator onto your vehicle. Now, the reason you want to do this is without a decelerator, your bait when right without a decelerator, when your vehicle comes to a complete stop, your vehicle has to overcome the entire amount of kinetic energy that your car has left that's allowing it to go forward. And without some way to mitigate the, um, the magnitude of kinetic energy your car has to overcome, when your car comes to a complete stop, the, it will begin to skid and go past the, the intended place you want your car to stop. So if you want to neutralize this effect, you're going to want to have some sort of decelerator. 
And what a decelerator does is it slows down the car. So in turn decreases the magnitude of kinetic energy you have to deal with in order to get your car to come to a complete stop. Now, if you look at my car that I have here, I have some sort, I have some springs that are on, that are on my axle. And as this wing nut travels along this axle, the wing nut begins to compress a spring. And as it compresses the spring, the car it becomes harder and harder to rotate these wheels, which in turn decrease the amount of kinetic energy my car needs to stop. So if you want to allow your car to stop more smoothly, you're going to want to implement some form of decelerator onto your vehicle. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated every single time I, I upload a new video. Also, follow me on social media and visit my website to learn more about Gravity Vehicle and how you can improve your Gravity Vehicle today. I'll catch you next time. Stand fixed.